It's the 4th of July, so nobody's working, including my shot tracer app. So we're going to try and do this the old-fashioned way, voiceover. What else were you expecting from me on the first team? I obviously love America, but you can only handle so much of that music. So I only missed recording two shots on this round. And unfortunately, that first one was probably my shot of the round. It gave me a green in regulation after a 30-yard tee shot. So I gladly accept my bogey and move to the second tee box where my slice drive Four. nearly decapitates my wife waiting on the forward tee box. Another well-struck six iron from long distance gives me a shot at least of making par. Right? Right? No. No. It's a seven foot cleanup for bogey. I push my tee shot off the par three third and it bounces through the red stakes. I chip on and then maybe, 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 oh. Okay, so now the goal is to just have a stress-free two-putt. So I can move into the three-hole stretch that usually makes or breaks my round. And it kind of feels like maybe it's gonna break it. Or maybe not. I mean, this is a pretty good shot. It leaves me with not the easiest putt but knock it in in two and walk away with the bogey on the hardest hole on the course? Sign me up. Oh, here's something new on the day, a hook. Then an intentional hook, putting me in a great position for an up and down par from seven feet. Never a doubt. Okay. Something's starting to work. Just don't screw it up. Don't screw it up. Whew. Okay. A bogey and two pars through my nemesis stretch. I'll take it. But follow it with a drive that goes somewhere playable? Who is this guy? Whoever he is, he sure hits a lot of punch outs. And even though my approach shot goes deep, I'm riding a wave of confidence in my short game that I can really make this up and down. Rap farts. Holy smokes. On to the eighth. <laughs> this hole really should be a lot easier than I make it look. I'm short sided over a trap onto a down slope catch it thin and leave myself a hellish downhill putt which I can't really complain about but I can complain about that speaking of complaints how about the guy who forgets to record his tee shot it looked like that only worse but a big five iron and a stock gap wedge later I somehow find myself still putting for birdie. And isn't this just the worst? But at this point, I will not complain with the 44 on the front. It makes no sense, but if I could swap this second shot with my first shot, I'd somehow feel better. I'd be in the same spot, but I'd feel better. I'm obviously dealing with some sort of mental block or issue on the tee box. Yeah, the mechanics are crap, but I still hit a lot of good shots. There's no excuse. Wait, wait, that was a good tee shot. And I followed it up with an acceptable approach shot. What was I talking about earlier? 
I clearly have this game figured out. Put me down for another bogey. We're breaking 90, baby. And to prove it, I'm putting this one right on the green. And then I'm watching it backspin right off the green. What's your problem, golf? Why are you like this? And why doesn't body English ever work? Other questions that I have for golf. Does this count as a fairway hit? I mean, technically it is. And we all know that technically correct is the best kind of correct. And did the course designer ever imagine a player going driving iron, five iron, sandwich, putter right. on their sub 400 yard par four? There are just so many unanswered questions in golf. Will I ever hit another fairway? How many punch outs is too many punch outs? Why doesn't the beverage cart have Bud Light seltzers? There's a very good chance that I only ever solve one of these eternal mysteries because I'm bound at some point to hit a fairway, right? I mean, I have to. Go. Anyways, I hope you're distracted because I'm trying to keep you from paying close attention to what happens on this par three. Because it's more than just a little bit embarrassing. I yanked my tee shot, leaving me with a very difficult chip. But this should be a relatively makeable two putt. Honestly, I could have lived with a three putt from where that started. Oh, but what's this? A four putt? I don't do four putts. Well, at least not until now. But I do know how to save myself from bad tee shots. And I've had some pretty good success converting rescue shots into bogeys and even pars. So this should be no problem, right? I mean, I got a pretty good round going here. At least for me. No sweat. Okay, maybe a little bit of sweat. I got two holes to go. I got a par on both. Got a par four and a par five. And look at that. I hit a fairway-ish area and followed it with an approach shot that leaves me with a very sketchy chance at an up and down. Uh-oh. Here we go. We all know what's coming here. Yep. That's about 295 right down the pipe. Exactly what you expected. Followed by an eight iron onto the front edge with a putt for eagle. Do it for America, baby. Okay, if we can't have an eagle, maybe just a birdie. Let's do it. Or not. 